was going oh my days I'm trying my best yesterday I did a whole video thing totally impromptu I think it makes sense if I edit it I'm not sure but either way we're gonna go with this quick thing today so yes I, I'm working on things there's a lot of anxiety in my head about you know am I gonna get evicted I'm, I'm not it's just that was the start of the video but it ended up going way off key and on a roll with it I know those are thoughts in my brain that don't need to be there things play a trick on me it's all right and yeah I do my makeup up because I, I like it. it makes me feel better whatever and I, since um, I've been publicly out there about you know things online you know when I have mail I have some mail in its maker brushes so I haven't opened it up yet I just know what's in it from the tracking number so I figured I'd open it up with you guys and show you a few things that I have again I don't live too richly I get really good deals and if anybody's interested in knowing what these deals are let me know I will share so let's take a look at a few things I have here and what is on the way all right so yeah everything's in boxes I don't, I'm still haven't found that's what I was starting to do yesterday I know I have some kind of shelf somewhere I just can't find them and it turned out to be different anyway so this lamp here that I'm using for a light um, it's four dollars at Dollar Ammo. it's flexible and all that kind of whatnot and I've been looking at it this is my Amazon thing so fourteen fifty nine plus shipping for pretty much the same thing I can't see a difference battery powered and I paid four bucks for that one at Dollarama I mean why not and then there's all my stuff here and this is the one again I've mentioned it before I'll go it again I got this whole thing so it's three sections for $39 no tax no shipping no nothing it was just $39 through Amazon and I have a link for it, which I'll put below, because it's even less. I think it's like 37 now. And it takes like three days to get here. And when we look at um, this, I mean, this thing I got at Dollarama again. It's all my liquid lipsticks. And I, I have a lot. Like, there's even more. And they're all, like, behind here. Because I'm running out of places to put them. And, yes, I, I bought this yesterday. It holds, you know, a bunch of liquid lipsticks. Four bucks on Amazon. Free shipping. Four dollars. Four. And that was 39. If you look at stores, they're more wet. That's just a good deal. So, and I'm, I'm here to share. I'm definitely here to share. So, before we go to, um, mail, I just want to show you what I'm supposed to be getting. So, it's from AliExpress. So that's how much I paid. I don't remember. Somewhere between six and nine bucks. And, you know, they're supposed to be shiny. And so let's open them up and see if that's what's in there. The whole reason I'm doing this quickly is, again, I, I've been vocal, like I said, about things online. And I get caught too. So this could be potentially, I mean, the box is, is not in the best of conditions. I mean, it's it's been squished. We're going to go with that. But the contents might be really good. Again, I've, I've gotten things that were good. I've gotten some things that weren't. I shouldn't be allowed with big knives. But this is like taped up to whatever. So, ooh. So far, it looks good because the first thing I see is the... Oh, it comes in a case. Oh. The picture had a case in it. So, this is what's in my box. So far, it's good. I'm waiting. We're still not sure if it's good or not. But even if it isn't, do I lose out on $11 Canadian since I waited two months for it to get here? Not really. But it's probably okay. So, opens up. And wow. They're pretty. And, and, I 
can tell by looking at them the quality's good just because it has this little neck. It's keeping them. So we're gonna look at the first one. Take it off. Oh, it's soft. I recommend these to anybody. I will link them below. Go out and buy them. Look at this handle. Can you see the glitter? Like, focus on the glitter in there. Oh my gosh. They're so soft. And like this package, oh, let's try them all. But this is my whole point. That buying things online, if you wait a few months, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. And again, for most part, when it comes to AliExpress, Amazon, all that whatnot, their customer service is really good. eBay, don't don't even go there. Don't even try. Um, but I do have to say that the seller themselves from eBay, because eBay, I'm done. PayPal, same thing. I'm trying to talk to an actual human being that cares, that does, done. But the seller themselves from this eBay transaction, they're called Secret Garden. Highly recommend. It just took them a long time to contact me because they're in Hong Kong and there's, you know, time differences. However, they have been very nice. No problem with the seller themselves. It's the whole eBay platform as a whole that doesn't make any sense. But am I happy with these? Yes. I'm gonna have to wash them first, obviously. You should always wash you know, you don't know what's on them from when they were in the factory. Quickly wash them, you know. By the way, washing brushes, Johnson & Johnson baby soap, or even actually like Dollarama baby soap, because that's all I use. And I just dropped on the floor. These little egg things. You can get them on Wish, you can get them on all those things that are like a dollar fifty, maybe even a dollar. You, you know, you hold on. They've got enough patterns, it works. So, in this set of brushes that was probably, you know. Wait, let me look it up. Alright, so I just found them, you know, in my app. Because, yes, we have apps for online making. It was $14.25 Canadian. And at this point in time, definitely worth it. And I ordered them on July 3rd. And today is what, July 31st? Yes, July 31st. That's actually not a bad time to wait. And yes, let's go through these. Because one, look at these handles. I don't think you can fully comprehend <laughs> the awesomeness of this. But anyway, so one big, nice, fluffy brush and it's just like my other one that I like I don't know if you can tell but there's a slight slant to it which is really good when you're trying to like get things in the right spot but if you could just feel them anyway now I keep going my sister's just messaged me she might stop by and cut my hair I, I, it's, I need help with that um, this one is a nice big contouring bronzing blush the one that I'm using now I'm looking over. Is from Elf. Just, I mean, I love the Elf one, but can you see the difference in like how puffy it is? Super happy with this. Um, this one is a foundation. I never use these for foundation, but it's so soft. Um, I'm gonna find a use for it, and um, it can't. I'm gonna find it. Um, I'm still working on that and their name is actually like written on them i know the light from that side i don't know if you can see it there you go now you can you can see the glitter in the handle now you can like look at that that is super amazing i've seen things close to this at winners and marshalls and um they're super expensive so the rest of the brushes are um one blending brush this one is more of a eyelid brush it's fine this is like a packer brush it's they're very nice made like this is i don't know it's not focusing um look at the glitter ah can you see how stiff it is a little bit that's great for packing in things like today that glitter i played around 
And then there's a few smaller ones, which are something that I don't have in my collection right now, which I do have this one, but not these little ones. So I'm super excited about that. And then you can never have enough eyebrow things. Now, yeah, it's crooked. Straighten it out. Don't make a big deal out about stuff that doesn't mean that doesn't make sense. So that is my thing. So I bought something from AliExpress. Pay less than fifteen dollars. Waited a month. Definitely worth it. From my experience of, of brushes that I've bought online with you know this shape, I'll pull out the other one. I have all these other ones too. <laughs> um, you know, see, they kind of look the same. Anyway, my point is, you don't need to pay a bazillion dollars. They work. I'm happy. And it was buyer beware. And this could have been poop. Who knows? It turned out that it wasn't. I'm super happy. And again, thanks for Secret Garden on eBay for totally being cool people. And this isn't sponsored by anybody. It's just me sharing that I bought something online and it didn't turn out to be bad. Because things online aren't necessarily bad. And before I go, I just want to quickly say this again, just because there's people out there on Facebook that are selling things that are obviously from eBay, doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy them. It doesn't mean it's not worth the money. If it's like $20, $30, that's fine. Um, if you don't want to have the aggravation and whatnot, that's, that's great. 20, it's at a reasonable price. I mean, they did put time in, they didn't have to wait, they do have, you know, they use a credit card, there's the possibility that they have interest charges. I don't know. That markup is perfectly, perfectly fine. Anything over $100, however, irks me the wrong way. I have contacted that one person. Because there's only one person that's actually telling you that it's quality. She straight off told me that it was quality, and I know it wasn't. Um, so don't put everybody else in the same boat. There's one bad person out there. Everybody else... They're totally cool. And I'm sorry if I put you all in the same boat, but you don't belong in the same boat. Um, and again, if you find the price, you know, higher than 25, you don't have to haggle with that. But if it's over the price of, you know, 30, 50 bucks, you can try to negotiate. Ask. Ask why, you know, it's that money. There might be things that you aren't aware of, like shipping fees or whatnot, or maybe it's a one of a kind. But those other people, they're not doing anything wrong. It's perfectly good. I wasn't trying to say they were bad. I was just simply saying that, you know, if you want to have the time and patience and wait forever, you could. But the fact that they're taking all that frustration away from you is worth 25 bucks. Trust me, dealing with eBay sucks. And I'm no longer doing it again. That seller was good. These brushes I am over the moon for. I'm hoping I get to see my niece and nephew, my sister, and fix my hair. Just so you can see, like, it's really, really long, and, um, yeah. Going out to get my hair cut is really hard. Anyway. So thanks, everybody. There should be another thing coming that I did yesterday where I explained more of a borderline personality disorder, more of how it affects not just what it is, but how it affects me and how I've realized that a lot of the things for the past year was my fault. I am solely responsible for the reaction I'm getting back from everybody else because it's my fault. I have expectations that are unrealistic of, you know, all that kind of whatnot. So look in there. I think there's a lot of self-growth, I hope. Either way, thanks. Love y'all.